What's up, buttercups? Welcome to West Virginia Windstar on Pound. Nice to see you guys and gals today. I want to do a reading for a reading for the collective. A reading for the collective. We'll see what comes out today. Okay. Well, these is all upside down and ever which way. I'll just go with it. Whatever it comes. Whatever it throws at me, I'll just go with it, okay? So, a message. Maybe you're going to get a message from the justice system. You're going to get a message from the justice system, maybe, about something. Yeah, what does Clayton need to know? Well, wait, wait a minute. Let me see who is this message. Who is this reading for, collective? Please and thank you very, very much. Moon, Gemini, Moon. So maybe you have a Gemini Moon. You can watch this, and then ten an ending. Okay. So this is about closing out cycles, maybe with a lover, because Gemini is the lover card. Okay. Maybe that's what it's talking about. But uh, here you go, Gemini. And if you're new. Please hit subscribe if you feel my v -v -v vibe, okay? Oh, wow, well, then. Spirit, we can have 15. We can have 12 together. Yeah. What else? Okay, okay. You know what else? You know what else? Old tail tay. Old tay, yeah. Mm, old tay. Now wait just a minute, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Hang on, Cody, I gotta get it. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Well, it was like, it was like upside down, so I'll leave it like that. We'll see what it says. Oh, and none of those have. Crowning is Eight of Swords. Somebody trying to keep you trapped. Somebody is trying to put a star behind jail. And because you're wanting to come out of hermit mode. Because you're wanting to come out of hermit mode and not stay stuck in your head. Somebody's trying to stop this. Well, yet yeah, once again, star, they're trying to stop this from, from happening and, and, they, and they can't, okay? Because look, this is why happy family, you're reflecting out, maybe a death. Maybe a death took place. But anyways, Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, Sunflower, beautiful, magic. This is a, this is a, this is Queen Leo. This is Queen Leo sitting on her throne, Okay. This is about your exuberance and your your jolly disposition. You're just so joyful and people admire you. This is about your crown. So your crown is joyous. Uh you're you're just this old soul. You're you're just like um or or this Queen of Wands is might be looking at a Leo, uh number nineteen. I love you. <laughs> I know who this is. And anyway, um, you love this person. Uh, this is paternal father energy. Um, maybe you looked up at the sun and you actually saw a face in the sun today. And you're like, wow, what the hell? I've never seen that before. But there's a lot of sunflowers out here showing their face. So there's a lot of sunflowers out here showing their face today. And then we have the world card. Number 21, this is... Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo. Okay, so 
So this is about, uh, you know, completing out a cycle, traveling, feeling good with yourself, feeling whole, feeling whole and complete once more. You're feeling whole and complete once more because you're gaining illumination. That's why the hangman come in a upside down like this, okay? So, and if you look, mirrored numbers, 21, 12. 21, 12 mirrored numbers, okay? So, so you're gaining illumination. Or maybe somewhere around the world is. They're seeing that you brought to light. You brought to light how somebody was trying to uh, put you in the coffin and rest forever, maybe, okay? Or or maybe, maybe you might be, um, maybe you had to lay somebody to rest collective and it's been hard. And maybe you was a... Maybe you was a mother and you had a child with this man right here and it was really hard on you. I, I don't know. That's just how it's depicted right here. But, um, you know, this is just about rest and, and getting rest and regenerating yourself once again from this feeling of loss and stabs. That's what it's talking about, okay? Okay, and then we have Aries. Then we have Aries. Aries, the sacred fool. And Aquarius. This is a Aries and Aquarius energy right here. And this is um, that sacred fool journey. You're somebody who's always funny as hell. Like, yeah, you're a little bit naive and gullible. And that's the thing. And, and you had to learn this. But here we, this man has a, a one white rose in his hand right here. Maybe you give one white rose to this Aries or Aquarius. <laughs> but anyway, uh, zero. This is a... Uh, the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end, okay? Okay. And this is Seven of Cups, options, options, illusions, living in shadow self. Maybe you're you're in denial and you're in your shadow side and and you've been focusing way too much on other things. Like here's a woman and here's like a ghost and then here's a snake and here's a dragon in the cup and then here is what do you call them things for the Greeks? The Greeks wire them on their head like a crown, a Greek crown. And then we have gems and jewels, and then we have a house. So so maybe maybe you don't live in an illusion. Maybe these snakes around you do. Maybe you actually got a happy family and stuff, and you're bringing this to light. But, but, but maybe there's somebody out here who's got... Who was under in a, a spell... Or, or they was just still trapped in their shadow side. And it might have been this Aries right here. They had a lot of options. And they was a snake. And then we had King of Swords. And it was an upside down. They're a narcissist. So this Aries was a narcissist. This Aries was a narcissist. And I believe they're an Aries Taurus. Like their birthday's like 4, 4, 18, 19, 4, 20, 4, 21, 4, 22. They're a down cusper. They're a Taurus. Aries Cusper or Aries Taurus Cusper, but this is about bringing your wealth and, and stability. Uh, this is someone. This is someone who is very money oriented, and I mean the bull always shows its horns on this right here. The bull always shows its horns, and so when I see King of Pentacles, I know it's Taurus Virgo or Capricorn. But when you see these bulls depicted, it's Taurus is bull. Taurus bull is showing, showing that. They had a wealth of of love now to give. I want you to know they had a wealth of love to give you now. It's just like God is get, giving you this love from up above. God is reaching out his hand to you and saying, Do you realize my power? Do you realize how much I love you? Do you realize how much that I help you every time you call upon me? Maybe you didn't get what you wanted, but maybe there's a reason why. Well, and it's because whoever this person is that you give all this love to, and they might have died the reason. A uh, reason. They was they had heart broke you because they had a lot of options, and they're a damn narcissist. They just wanted you to build them up. They loved it when you was just telling them how beautiful they was, and this and that, and a tother and. That's why an unexpected sudden change happened, okay? So the tower, dun-dun-dun, tower. Lightning strikes, 
and the thunder rolls. And the water's coming up on the sides of the tower house. And we're getting blowed out of the tower. Dun, dun, dun. And we're dying in the water. <laughs> Sorry, that's just how it looks like, okay? So, I can't believe the woman's dress ain't up over her head the way she's turned up. So, down her damn dress, it went over her head, but it didn't. <laughs> so, so, this is a sudden change. It's going to rock your foundation. This might just be a surprise. This was a surprise change from God. When you see us right here, the tower, that's, that's Saturn energy. You know, that's Saturn energy. That's, that's God. That's. That's this is Aquarius's card. If you see all this, this lightning strikes and everything going on. Now a lot of people says this is Scorpio, but really this is a uh, this is Aquarius's card. If you look it up, so Aquarius, that's your that's your energy right there, okay? And so um, I mean, and if you're Scorpio, that can be your energy as well. But I know what the cards is. These other people don't realize about me. But oh, Ten of Pentacles. Uh, you're, you know, this is a legacy. You you have a legacy. You have maybe children that has children. Okay, and and if you see you you might have, or you're wanting to build a generational wealth for your family, and then we have the family's crests. The crests, you know, family's crest symbols on the side. 1144. And then we have a giant house. I think that somebody's going to be blessed to live a, a, a nice life within a brand new nice looking house, it says, okay? So look, it's coming to light that this person had a lot of options, okay? And, and you might have not been aware of it, okay? They had a lot of options, but they, they was... Uh, wanting uh, to build a legacy, maybe with you, that is wanting to build a legacy with you, but but this was a karmic contract. That's why the world card came out. It was a karmic contract, and um, this person was a narcissist, and here Aries is showing herself again. Maybe you look the devil right in the eyes. People don't realize about the devil and things, but... I mean, look, he's got an onk in one hand, and in the other hand, he has a ball with a cross on it. What's that ball with a cross? I don't know, but maybe y'all know what that is, because I don't know what the hell it is. But this person had a lot of gold. Maybe this person invested in gold. Maybe they invested in gold, this Aries. But this is somebody, uh, it don't have to be an Aries. I mean, uh, you know, because that King of Swords is Jim Oliver Aquarius upside down, but it's just saying, I think it is an Aries pulling out. It's an Aries pulling out because Aries Leo or Sag was the first card it pulled out up there, okay? But uh, this person um, might have sacrificed being with you because they, they wanted just their money. They just wanted their money. They didn't want this couple of. So they rejected your love. So they rejected their your love. They rejected your love, and and that's why this unexpected tower did this. Dun dun dun. I mean, these are the four corners. I mean, when you get started with a reading, you got four corners. Okay, top corner, bottom corner, top corner, bottom corner. So look, told you, it is Aries, Aries Leo or Sag, but it's Aries. I know it died, and they they were just trying to break your heart. Keep you focusing on them. They wanted you to build them up. Build them up. That's all it is. And I wish they'd shut the fuck up and get out of the energy. Because, you know, this is my new beginning. And I know that all these fucking options and illusions is their energy. And, and, and uh, that's what I know, okay? So I'm going to move this out of the way. So this person, it was heartbreaking to you that they, that they, they denied the one true love from God. So God punished this person, so don't worry. Okay? Okay, what else does Gemini need to know? But Gemini, they're trying to trap a star you. This is Aquarius's energy, okay? This is star Aquarius. 
So Aquarius, uh, you, you, you're Gemini. You're wanting to come out of hermit mode. You've been inside. You, you've understood this process. Now you're wanting to come out of hermit mode. But maybe spirit is telling you to set still just a little bit longer, Aquarius or Gemini spirits to need to sit still just a little bit longer because they was trying to trap you in jail. And I mean, it could have been a Virgo doing this to you. I don't know, Gemini or, or an Aquarius or Leo. I don't know. I don't know, but maybe you do. I don't know. Let me use something else. Done with them. Done with them pickles. Done with them pickles, okay. Yeah, we're done with ill pickles. Let's get one of these. Shit. What is for Gemini? Did Gemini remember to, uh, remember to hit subscribe to help my channel because I got some cool cards. I'm going to use mine in a minute, okay? What is it that what is it that Gemini needs to know? Oh, wow. What was it? It's It pulled out three, so I'll just take it. It says, till death do us part. Ride or die, loyalty, surprise proposal, marriage material. If you're in a relationship, prepare for it to be taken to the next level. As this person can't imagine their life without you in it. And to all the single people, get ready. You're about to meet the one a lot sooner than you think. Ooh, somebody's coming to you sooner than you think. They're collective of Gemini's. And I love you, Gemini. And somebody wants to be till death do you part. And remember, uh, you, you, you got to cut somebody off out here. A karmic tie. You're going to have to cut it and clear your third cords. This situation or person that no longer deserves your time and energy and attention. You got to detach you're detaching yourself from these memories and people that was holding you under their influence, okay? So whoever it was, that's what you're cutting off right now. And logic and intuition, mind-heart connection. You're integrating logic and intuition. Don't let your emotions overpower your intelligence. Create a balance between your mind and heart. Where you honor both your thoughts and feelings, try to make your decisions both based on a perfect blend of intuition and intellect. See, you you have that perfect blend. You're okay, Gemini. You're like Gemini twins. That's why. Okay. Now let me get you one of these and see what you might need to surrender. Okay. You might need to surrender to your soul's path, Gemini. Your life's journey has been perfectly designed for your soul's growth. Embrace every lesson and every moment. So just live in the moment. Your heart and mind is connected and because you know that you're having to cut off you're having to cut off this karmic. Okay? Because there's somebody that really loves you and you're gonna have to do it. It says so now, collective. It says so is all I know. Okay, what's one of these? What's one of these for Gemini or something? Oh, one of these for Gemini I said. Get into nature, coexistence, gather, limit waste. So maybe you're like uh, a Native American and and uh, you, you could coexist rather well with this person that your soul is leading you to. This person is right or die, whoever, whoever you're being led to. You could coexist well with them, but spirit should get out in nature today and gather up something that you need. You need about this person, okay? I asked it, and you shall receive. Let me give you a little message before I get into mine. It says, we shouldn't be influenced by the outside world. Just focus on us too. See, that's what you need to realize, you and I, and that's true. You just need to focus on the two of you all, and we're not over yet. There's still something between us, okay? So there's still something between you and somebody else, okay? And and you shouldn't be influenced by what people think. And boy, that's so true. Boy, that's so true. Boy, that's so true. And what is it that me and the Gemini's need to know today, okay? What is it me and Gemini's need to know today? What about to death do us part? Spirit, that's so fast. Maybe there was a man or woman that wanted to say that you was a gold digger when he or she actually was a damn gold digger taken from you, okay? It might be somebody that you're married to, but it don't have to be. It's just somebody. But it said, life's after you have sex feels like your best friend. So 
So maybe, maybe somebody that you're married to might have been saying that you had had sex with your best friend and, and you cut off this person, but I don't know. I don't know how it is for you, you but you, you're you using your logical mind and your heart. And honey, this man has a demonic attachment latched onto them. Evil. So look, so maybe this person that you thought you could be married to and you cut this person out of your energy and that was a part of your soul's path and your journey is to remember that. And to remember that you can coexist with someone else. You know, it doesn't have to be the same person all the time. But whoever his best friend is, they're evil. And they're a damn gold digger, okay, Gemini? And that's what Spirit wants you to know. But Spirit said, ancestors are catching all your nightmares for you with a dream catcher at night. So look, so look, this, this demon can't latch to you. And if you ain't been dreaming, that's good because Spirit was doing that for a reason. So don't get mad, okay? And, um... And because you you was detected that this person uh, had been spying on you, and and they're inclined to betray you and your confidences, and they, and they don't always tell your secrets intentionally, but they do, but they do. See, so his friend was telling your secrets intentionally, oh, uh, what it said, and this person already has another gal on this side, and they lied to you from the get go. They already had a gal or a guy on the side. One plus one doesn't equal three. This person like threesomes and taking from you all the time. They was taking your energy from you and your, maybe from you and your marriage. This son of a bitch was taking your energy. Like if you do a page like me, that's taking all your energy. And you done cut this motherfucker out of your energy. And and, and uh, you thought they was like a best friend of yours, but they wasn't. And then they went to the down law. Every time I put a reading out, this one person runs and tells it to the law. They tell on themselves. <laughs> So whoever this person is, is a friend of yours. They want your best friend. They they, they went and tell shit to the law on you. And YOLO, you only love one. It's my quote. I made that quote. So so you only love one and this evil dick friend, you need to get rid of it. Or partner, whoever it is, you need to get rid of it because your patience is spread really thin with this person. You, you're you're thinking like, why do you even keep trying with this person? Because they make a lot of down decisions that didn't make any sense to you. Yeah. And your ancestors see this person, okay? It feels like a game with that person because it was. But, you know, uh, you have somebody that says we're meant to rule the world together. We've done this in our past lives. We're a royalty, baby. So, look. So, look. Uh. So your ancestors, any of these evil demons that comes around and stealing from my page and then they steal my cars and go ride it out like Egyptian royalty. Yeah, I know who that is. Anyway, uh, these secret tellers out here that go around lying and shit. So they, uh, they went around and lied. Maybe, maybe you thought this was somebody you was linked to from long ago. Well, it was. It was a karmic contract, though. And, and, and listen, you and I, we don't cry over people who was meant to make us grow, and we're not going to accept these people anymore. So, okay? Because you're royalty. Don't accept this person anymore in your energy. Are you listening? Maybe God took them out of your energy for good like, you know, they did for me. God did that for me, collective. But look, you need to cut out the people that you used to party with so you can come together with your twin. So look, you're not crying over this person because it only made you grow, okay? It only made you grow, and, and all you did is maybe smoke weed with this person. They went around lying. Maybe they went around lying saying y'all had sex to the wall, and that's a fucking lie. Well, it is on my part. I don't know about you, but but listen, whoever that friend is, a woman or man, they have a curse over their life through sex with somebody that stuck to them. So they was screwing, they've screwed somebody that they was cursed. So whoever his false twin is, they, they're cursed from screwing around on their partner all the time. They're cursed, okay? And try not to stand in the shadows of others. Stand proud and stand tall in the moment you are meant to shine. That's by me a quote. If you steal it, you're going to get copyrighted. And you will be owing me a lot of money. Trust and believe that's, get, that's happening right here soon for me. A lot of people stole shit and my ideas from me, okay? But, but yeah, don't worry. Uh... You know that you're meant to shine, Gemini, and this person is is mad because you don't live in your shadow side anymore. They're mad you don't come back to them. You don't live in your shadow side. That's all in the hell that it boils down to. Okay?
Do we have one more of these, maybe? A stable, loving, caring, business-like man or woman of influence is going to come into your life and help you, okay, with with a certain situation, or you already have this, okay? Till death do us part. Or like, it's going to be a ride or die for you, Gemini. So don't you worry, baby. And remember, the universe will bring people in your life to help you along the way and to steer you to your goals and dreams and to steer and the universal Send people in your life that you know you're supposed to be steered away from, too. So, look, there is a stable person that's going to help you thrive and bring your goals and dreams to reality, okay? Okay, Gemini, and let me see if it tells us, like, maybe who maybe it's reading was for or something. A boss. A boss you, Gemini. Maybe this is for you. Or this is a boss wanting to work with you, okay? Okay? Maybe you're the big boss, Okay? Now, let me give you one of these and see what it says. And give you a business card. Oh, it says comfort. Archangel Azrael, I am with you in your time of need, helping your heart to heal. See, the angels is helping to heal your heart. See, you had nothing to worry about, babies. And look, there's that Greek crown it showed from the first. Look, there it is again. Your crown, your angels is bringing your crown to you, boss. You're getting, you're getting ready to feel so much comfort. And you got a lot of gifts from God. Archangel Sandalphon, we angels bring you gifts from the Creator. Open your arms to receive. So if, some, if, if God took some out of your life, that's a gift from them. That's a blessing. Remember, collective, that's what it means, okay? Can we have a business, I mean a money card? Oh, employee benefits. Ooh, so it's a new job, Gemini. You're going to have a lot of employee benefits like health insurance, skills development, paid vacation, pension plans, achievements, money, parental leave. So what? So maybe a big boss Leo wants to offer you a comfort of a good job, it said, okay? That's what it said now. But deadlines, deadlines, the clock is ticking. Clock is ticking. For this benefits deadlines, whatever that means, okay? I don't know, but maybe you do, Gemini. Maybe you're needing to hurry up and get something in. And let me give you a little love or something. What about a little love? A little love says deeply. Look deeply within to discover your sole purpose in your relationships. That's what you're needing to do. And it says admire. It's time to think of everything that you admire in your partner. So... So, admire the one that you care for deeply in your relationship. This is your sole purpose, to admire them deeply. Oh, I love that, Gemini. I hope you love this reading. And I think it turned out pretty good. And I think y'all need to help me with, with that. And I'd greatly appreciate it so, so very much, okay? All right, thank you, Gemini. I'm going to get off here. And remember to help my reading with some love, because I love you so very much. Look how pretty that is. I love it. All right, Jim and I, I appreciate you. Please like, subscribe, and share, and we'll get off here. Peace. Thank you. Leave a comment. Thank you. Peace.